At the February 4th Select Board meeting, the board approved the town manager's appointments of two new senior library assistants. Um, yep, I've been the children's librarian at the Bolton Public Library for just over five years now. Um, I live in Menden with my husband and our two daughters and our three cats and our three chickens. <laughs> and um, so I, I'm excited for this opportunity because I'll be a lot closer to home. Mm -hmm. And it's a beautiful library, so I'm very much looking forward to this next step. Uh, yeah, uh, yes, I have worked for the Wellesley Free Library in their circulation department as of now three years, actually, this coming month. Um, I have had wonderful experiences uh, working not just at the main library, but at the two branches where I get to uh, experience a variety in patron diversity from very small, eight, small children to uh, elderly patrons to young adults to parent-aged uh, individuals. Uh, I have helped at my time at the Attleboro Public Library volunteering. I had the pleasure of aiding the children's department in creating summer teen programs and helping to run them uh, that were well received by uh, the population as a whole. And as you said, I have worked as a freelance reporter for, an, for a number of years, which has given me a lot of wonderful opportunities to interact again with a wide variety of individuals, learn their stories, and learn how best to approach every single situation with patience and an open ear and, and an open heart. The select board authorized the town manager to submit a letter to MassDOT supporting proposed improvements to the Fruit Street Bridge. The future configuration and the piers, the existing piers and the existing abutments are in the way of the future alignment. So we're going to be replacing that bridge. Uh, as part of that bridge <coughs> replacement, due to constructability uh, and staging requirements, that bridge is going to be wide enough for two 11-foot lanes, two 5-foot shoulders, one on either side, and one 5.5-foot sidewalk on the other side. That's, that's what the bridge replacement is going to be. Uh, beyond that, the approach work from Saddle Hill Drive to Huckleberry, uh, again, is a down road. Uh, we've got a, 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 a concept here tonight that I think has support from the town boards that we, we'd like to show you. Uh, the Fruit Street, Fruit Street scope, again, adds a sidewalk on the south side and bike lanes in each direction from Saddle Hill Road to Huckleberry Road. Uh, we are also, as a course of um, the need to raise the vertical clearance on Fruit Street will improve the sight distance and the substandard vertical curve that is currently at the intersection of Fruit Street and Saddle Hill Road. And I'll show that in a picture. Yeah. So the photo you see right here is a look at the existing bridge um, on the Fruit Street Bridge looking towards Saddle Hill Road. Uh, off in the distance is the substandard vertical curve. Uh, you can see here at a closer image you can see that the car is just cresting over and you're fairly close to it, so it's, there's not a lot of distance between you and being able to see over that curve. Uh, so the overall plan, um, starting from Huckleberry Road and traveling east, uh, we would add a sidewalk on the southern side of the roadway. And you can see there's a new crosswalk across Huckleberry Road connecting to the sidewalk that is on Huckleberry Road. We can, we can click back and look through those typical cross-sections, but uh, in general, we're working diligently towards a 25% design submittal. Um, the, there'll be a, a design, 25% design public hearing out here in, in, in the towns. Um, probably May, June of this year, where we'll kind of roll out the, the overall design to general public and stakeholders and anybody who wants to uh, who has any interest. I'll, I'll make a motion to submit a letter to MassDOT supporting the proposed improvements to the Fruit Street Bridge approaches as, as presented and discussed this evening. Excellent. The select board also voted to approve of the award of the lease of property located at 45 East Main Street to the 26.2 Foundation the proposal is for an international marathon center. Tonight, respectfully asking the board to approve the award of the lease of the property located at 45 East Main Street to the 26.2 Foundation. 
are subject to the successful negotiation of a lease between the town and the 26.2 Foundation. Uh, the 26.2 Foundation providing information sufficient to satisfy the town with regard to the feasibility conditions that we outlined in the RFP and finally subject to town meeting approval of the list between the town and the 26.2 Foundation. How did we get here? The town issued an RFP for the list of the property back in June uh, of 2019. Uh, with a closing date of December 31st, 2019. Only one proposal was received from the 26.2 Foundation. Uh, we included that proposal uh, and its details uh, in your meeting packet. And then following a very thorough uh, and objective evaluation by the procurement office, uh, the town has deemed the 26.2 Foundation proposal most advantageous.